What are toxic substances? Toxic substances are chemicals that can harm biological systems at specific concentrations. They're categorized by their LD50-LC50 values, measured in parts per million or billion. You'll encounter them as heavy metals, lead, mercury, synthetic chemicals, PCBs, phthalates, or biological toxins through inhalation, ingestion, or skin contact. Various regulatory frameworks like OSHA and REACH govern their handling. Understanding detection methods and prevention strategies will greatly reduce your exposure risks. All information used in this podcast is based on authoritative research articles which are available in the description. Scientific Definition of Toxic Substances While commonly misunderstood by the general public, toxic substances possess specific scientific parameters that define their potential for harm. They're characterized by their capacity to inhibit or destroy biological functions at specific doses, affecting organisms through both acute and chronic pathways. Toxicity fundamentally measures a chemical's ability to cause harm based on exposure levels and duration. It's threshold-dependent, damage occurs when concentrations exceed tolerable limits, often measured in parts per million or billion. Unlike hazards, which incorporate exposure likelihood, toxicity strictly addresses a substance's inherent potential to disrupt biological systems through various routes including inhalation, dermal contact, or ingestion. Legal Classifications and Regulatory Systems Because toxic substances pose significant health and environmental risks, legal frameworks worldwide have established systematic classification and regulatory infrastructures to control their management. These include OSHA's Hazard Communication Standard, which adopts GHS protocols for labeling and safety data sheets, and CFR Section 173.132, which defines toxicity thresholds using LD50 and LC50 measurements. The EPA's Toxics Release Inventory requires reporting for 799 chemicals categorized by carcinogenicity and other hazards, while the EU's REACH regulation enforces testing and authorization requirements. These systems create standardized hazard categories that determine transport restrictions, workplace safety requirements, and international trade compliance protocols. Common Types of Environmental Toxins Environmental toxins fall into five major categories that systematically compromise human and ecosystem health through various exposure pathways. Heavy metals, arsenic, lead, mercury, bioaccumulate in tissues, causing neurological damage and organ failure. Chemical pollutants like VOCs, phthalates, and BPAs disrupt hormonal systems and trigger developmental abnormalities. Environmental compounds including PCBs and PFAs persist in ecosystems for decades, interfering with critical physiological functions. Biological toxins encompass pathogens, molds, and venoms that cause acute or chronic disease. Radiological toxins such as radon and uranium emit ionizing radiation, damaging cellular DNA and increasing cancer risk. Health Impacts of Exposure to Toxic Materials The health impacts of exposure to toxic materials manifest through dual temporal frameworks, acute and chronic pathways. Acute exposure typically causes immediate reactions, skin irritation, headaches, or breathing difficulties, while chronic exposure leads to cancer, organ damage, or immune suppression. You'll face varying risks depending on exposure routes. Inhalation affects respiratory systems, dermal contact enables toxin absorption, and ingestion introduces poisons directly to your digestive tract. Vulnerability differs across populations. Children's developing organs and higher breathing rates increase susceptibility, while pregnant individuals risk fetal harm. Your occupation may also elevate exposure risk, particularly in mining, laboratory, or industrial settings. Detection and measurement methods Detecting toxic substances requires sophisticated analytical techniques that span multiple methodological domains. You'll find chromatographic methods like GCMS offering detection limits in low PPB ranges, while SPME techniques achieve sensitivity at 2-ing-slash-G in soil samples. 
Optical sensing technologies utilize light matter interactions through fiber optic sensors and nanomaterial based platforms for real time monitoring. Gold nanoprobes provide visual detection through colorimetric shifts. For biological assessment, both in vivo and in vitro bioassays evaluate toxicity through organism responses or cellular systems. Environmental sampling often employs preconcentration methods like pergentrap or solid phase extraction to enhance detection capabilities before analysis. Prevention and control strategies. Because toxic substances present considerable risks to human health and environmental integrity, implementing extensive prevention and control strategies becomes essential. You'll mitigate exposure by substituting hazardous chemicals with less toxic alternatives and utilizing proper engineering controls like fume hoods. Store chemicals separately from food, label containers clearly, and dispose of wastes through regulated channels. Always wash hands thoroughly after handling chemicals, even when wearing gloves. Maintain proper ventilation during chemical use. Adherence to safety regulations, OSHA, EPA and thorough staff training programs greatly reduce risks. Community education initiatives and regulatory reforms further enhance protection against toxic substance hazards. To conclude, you've now familiarized yourself with toxic substances' scientific definitions, regulatory frameworks, and common environmental forms. You'll encounter these hazardous materials in various concentrations that can induce acute or chronic health effects. Current analytical methods can detect toxins at parts per billion levels. Implementation of engineering controls, substitution strategies, and proper disposal protocols remains essential for minimizing your exposure to these biochemically disruptive compounds. I would like to thank you for watching and listening. From me, Jenny Newton, take care, and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.